The biggest thing that's going to be new about Lost Planet 2 is the introduction of four player co op. It's the first time we've had it in the series. Four player online at the same time. I'm relaying the latest intercepted transmissions now. Lost Planet 2 is certainly all about working together in a team, working things out with other players, and coming up with ways to overcome the challenges that you'll see in the game. I think you'll find it to be a very different experience to uh, any co op game you've played before, and um, I think users are really going to enjoy it. You can control the amount of uh, the number of AI players you have playing with you to your heart's content. If you really want to play through it just by yourself, you can turn off all the bots. If you want to play with just you and a friend and no bots, you can do that as well. It's entirely up to you. Yeah, huge bosses are a real feature of the Lost Planet series and we had great fun coming up with new ideas for the bosses in Lost Planet 2. Um, one of the ideas that we wanted to pursue with the boss fights in Lost Planet 2 was the idea of creating a boss that would be fun to take down in a four player team. Bosses that you, you know, really had different experiences with depending on what part you were playing in. For example, the boss we're showing here at Comic Con, you can fight him not just from the outside, you can also go inside his body and fight him from inside. Coming up with different ideas like that was uh, a lot of fun. The idea um, that was in Lost Planet 1 of collecting thermal energy to uh, progress through the game is still in the game, just in a slightly different form. Obviously without the snow, what you use thermal energy for is to power the robotic vital suits, power certain weapons. You can think of thermal energy as being the equivalent of, you know, our real world uh, gasoline. The reason we decided to have more stages based on more varied environments rather than just the snow of uh, Lost Planet 1 is because we wanted to offer different levels uh, to the users, um, show them different environments and allow them to play through, through different things. We also wanted to uh, follow on uh, from the story of the game where there is this climate change taking place uh, on the planet of EDM3 and you know the idea of the story is that that was meant to make, meant to make uh, EDN3 a more livable place for the humans, but maybe there's not entirely worked out how uh, it was intended. Lost Planet 2 is going to be out on uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. We can't give it an exact release date right about now, but I can tell you we're working hard to have it out uh, sometime this winter.